Hey folks, Adam Dukes here. Welcome to this brand new video series. It's going to be 25 videos over the course of the next six or so weeks on how to build sales funnels, how to set up lead magnets, how to set up landing pages, how to sell digital products, how to sell memberships, subscriptions, creating your own affiliate program, hosting videos, all within one single tool, one simple tool, I should say, system.io. It's a tool that I've been using for the last several months and I absolutely love it for a few reasons. It's simple to use, it's very affordable, and they have fantastic customer support. And I've used all the funnel builders on the market and by far this is the simplest one to use and without a doubt, the best customer service as well. So like I said, if you're interested in this video series on how to leverage this tool in your business to earn more money, to work more efficiently, to work less, but still earn more, make sure you subscribe down below. Click that little bell notification because it'll alert you of every time I release a new video in this training series. Also, if you'd like to check out system.io, it's a 100% free account. It's not a free trial. It's a free account. Check out the link down below, adamdukes.com forward slash S-Y-S. You'll get access to just about $600 in bonuses that I'm giving you completely for free if you sign up for system today. So if you're interested in that, check it out down below, adamdukes.com forward slash S-Y-S. In this training, I'm going to show you how to set up an automated email sequence in system.io. This is a license to print money. It's a really simple process. It won't be a long tutorial. So what we're going to do is go up under our emails tabs. We're going to click on campaigns. As you can see, here are all uh, my current campaigns. I have two pages of campaigns. How many email, uh, the name of each description, email count, and then when I created these campaigns. So what we'll do is just click this blue create button in the upper right hand corner. We're going to name it. So we're going to call it YouTube demo for now. Uh, I typically don't put a description as you can see right here. You can put a description if you want. It's completely up to you. Click save campaign and then it will open up our uh or it'll update our page here. As you can see, YouTube demo. We're gonna click on this link right here. And as you can see, here is the campaign. It'll show our email title, the delay, context at this step, email sent, open, total clicks, comments, and active. Obviously, we don't have any emails in here, uh, but we're gonna add in emails to this campaign. We'll click add an email, the upper right-hand corner, this blue button, and it's gonna be sender name. It's gonna be from your name, typically, your email address. Uh, we'll just say, hey, for the subject line. If you want to do visual editor and make it look pretty and fancy, 99.999% of the time, I go classic editor. Uh, I just like a plain white background with black text. It's completely up to you. I take that back 100% of the time I do classic editor. I don't think I've ever used this visual editor. So I go to classic editor here and then click create. And then here is our email template here. The subject line, as you can see, you can edit that. You can edit the sender email. You can edit the sender name if you want. Uh, you can add any attachments over on this right hand sign. What I typically start off, I start off all my emails with hey, and then the substitute variables, you just down uh, click the button here. And then I just put in there first name right here and again these available substitutes on this right hand side are all right here in this drop down menu as well to make it easier so you can copy and paste or just select from this menu here so again i just use first name i click ok when you send a test email to yourself it will still say first name don't be alarmed by that i see a lot of people panic about that when it's a test email it'll come like this but when you send the email out if you are on your own email database it'll uh, plug in your name if you have their name i uh, put in thing and then you just put in email copy here and whatever you want to do it's typical uh, very similar to Microsoft Word, bold, italicized, underline, if you wanted to change colors, backgrounds, things like that. If you wanted to indent, if you wanted to center the text, left, right, middle, uh, if you wanted to change the heading, the size and all that, uh, the size of the text is here, but if you wanted to change the, the heading, the heading two, heading three, I typically write it and I write out the whole email, I highlight it, and then I always send it out in email font 18. That's just what I like to do. It's a little bit bigger. I know the majority of my people that are reading emails are gonna be on their uh, phone, and I find 16 is a bit too small when reading on your phone. On desktop, it looks fine, but on the phone, it's a little bit small, so I use 18. With that being said, on desktop, 18 does look a little bit bigger. However, I think it's like 80% of people read emails on their cell phone, so I'm gonna cater to those 80%. But that's it, you write it like this, uh, and then up in the upper right hand corner, save and send a test email. So what I like to do is I just send a test one to myself where I can look at it in Gmail, make sure it looks correct. I spelled everything right. You can save it here or you can save and publish or you can cancel it. So what we're gonna do is just save and publish. And then what, again, this is an automated sequence. And this is really cool. I haven't used every email platform out there. I have used a handful. I've used Active Campaign. I've used BirdSend. I've used GetResponse. I've used Aweber. Those are the big ones. MailChimp I've used. I've used MailerLite. 
I think those are those cover most of them. And I haven't seen um, the other tools do these two features right here, which I'll get to in just a second. So delay, if this is your first email, I recommend a zero delay, zero hours, zero days, uh, meaning that this email is going to go out immediately. And then what email is it gonna go after? Obviously this is our first email, so there is no email it's going after. It's going out right away. When you create your second email, what you would do is you would go after the welcome email. Uh, these two features right here, like I said, I haven't seen these in any other email platform. They're really, really cool. I don't leverage them as much as I should, but time when email should be sent. So if you want to send them on a certain time, maybe you don't want to send on the weekends, maybe you don't want to send on a Tuesday, whatever it is, you can choose, uh, or for this specific one, at specific times. You don't want to send in the middle of the night, 2 a.m., 5 a.m., uh, midnight. You can send it maybe 8 a.m. And then the next one would be days of the week. Like I said, if you don't want to send emails out on Saturday and Sunday, or maybe you have an email that you'd like to go out just on Fridays. For whatever reason, at 8 a.m., you could toggle all these switches off here. Whoops, uh, toggle all these switches off here. And this email would go out every Friday. And let's say you wanted to do it at 8 a.m. as an example. So this email specifically would only go out Friday. So if they opted in Friday at noon, they're not gonna get that email till next Friday. So for a welcome email, you wouldn't wanna do that. But this is a pretty cool option where you can kind of play around with specific days of the week you send your emails and also specific times. Um, so we're just gonna turn these off for this example. We'll hit publish. And as you can see right here in my campaigns, here's the email title, the delay, it's zero minutes. So they're getting the email right away. How many contacts are at this step? How many emails were sent? the open rate, total clicks, and then if you want to add any comments, maybe if this email is performing well, or maybe you change the subject line or whatever it is, you can add in some notes here, which is a really cool feature. I don't really use that that often, uh, but it's cool to have that available, especially like I said with split testing. If it's active or not, you can turn it off. Uh, if you want to turn it off, you would just deactivate it with this yellow X mark. You can check the stats right here. You can duplicate this message, and then of course you can trash it. So here is an older email, uh, a older funnel that I have in place, and I just wanted to kind of show you some of the stats. So this email campaign has 10 total emails in it. As you can see, this is the first email right here. It gets sent right away. There's no context at this step. The email's been sent to 405 people. It gets a 47% open rate, meaning 192 people out of 405 opened it. Total clicks, 17%, meaning 69 out of 405 cent clicked on the link in the email or the links in the email and then as you can see this one word eliminates fear this is email number two it goes out on the following day the second day there's no contacts at this step uh, 392 people received this email 31 percent opened 6.1 2% clicked on it. And you might say, well, email sent 405 to 392, that's a discrepancy of what, 13? That means 13 people unsubscribed from this first email. So that's why each of these go down a little bit every email. That's just the nature of the business. People are gonna unsubscribe. But this is kind of a cool snapshot to see your stats. I can see opened rate, like right here, 52%, steal my stuff. That was a really good subject line. And then the very next email was only 25%, shatter your expectations with their first name. That didn't do as well. And as you can see, I can go down and look and see what my uh, open rate are. And these look actually pretty good. 25, 26% is a bit low. They typically trail off as the more emails you send. So seeing 31, 38, 35 on emails 7, 8, and 9, I'm actually really, really happy with that. Uh, but I really look for the click-through rate. And of course, the sales. That's the main thing to look at is the sales. You can't take your open rate and pay your mortgage or your rent. I promise you that. A lot of people get so fixated with open Open rate. I'm looking for sales, money in the bank. I really don't care the open rate. I mean, I, t I look at it, but what I'm looking at is how many people bought. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what you think about the training and make sure you subscribe down to the channel and click that little bell notification. Cause like I said, I got 24 more videos of training videos of not just how to use this software, but how to use it in your business. And I'm going to be giving tips and tricks on marketing, email automation, email marketing, building funnels, all types of stuff. So make sure you hit subscribe down below and then sign up for your free account with system.io, adamdukes.com forward slash SYS. Like I said, you get access to uh, $598 worth of bonuses that's no cost to you. They're completely free. It'll give you instructions on what you need to do on that page down below, adamdukes.com forward slash SYS. Looking forward to putting out to this training series, hoping it helps you grow your business quickly.